welcome back guys to Savvy Charmed Life. I'm Tracy and today we're going to do a little pop-up um, surprise giveaway. Okay guys, so you know that I did a mermaid theme for my first half of 2021 stology. Um, it was super fun. I'll give you guys like a quick little like sneak peek, but I will link below um, the actual flip through of this journal, which I haven't done yet. But just so you guys can kind of see how this like setup came together. Um, super, super cute um, theme. Um, and I was in love with it. Um, it was so much fun. I used the blue Stology notebook. Um, and it was just so much fun doing a little mermaid theme for the first half of 2021. But I realized when I got done and I was working on my setup for my new installment for the second half of 2021 that I have a big surplus, a lot of leftover mermaid themed materials that I will probably never use again. Um, as I wanted to, again, share the wealth um, with my extras and do a little mermaid theme bullet journal stology setup giveaway. Um, so these are all of the leftovers that I have um, of materials that I used for my setup that I no longer need. So you have basically everything, almost everything that you would need to kind of get started with a mermaid theme without um, minus the notebook. Okay. All right. So Okay, so we are going to go through all of the pieces. Like I said, this, is, this should be everything that you would need, almost, minus the notebook, to get started with a mermaid theme uh, bullet journal or stology notebook of your own. Um, so the first thing is we do have this mermaid scale um, acetate, which I will try to put against something white for you so you guys can see that a little bit clearer it's this rainbow foiled acetate um i can't remember what shop i got this from but i did get this from a shop on etsy that i will link below um but uh it is i think i'm trying to remember if this is hollow foil or just regular foil um does hollow mean that it that it like moves. I can't remember, but just so you guys can kind of hopefully see that pretty well. Um, I don't normally use this light, but I am going to use it this once. So that hopefully maybe you guys can see the reflection of it a little bit better. Okay. Um, so yeah, so you will get this piece of, and this is like an eight by 10, I think, or eight and a half by 11 size piece, which means that you could cut it in half for a B6 or an A5 and use it twice if you wanted to. So you could easily get a lot out of this um, eight and a half, it's probably eight and a half by 11 size sheet of acetate. You also get these two pieces of vellum that I printed myself using mermaid using a mermaid scrapbook paper pack like a digital paper pack that I purchased on Etsy and then I printed onto vellum myself for the first so the first piece of vellum and again this is an eight and a half by 11 size piece of paper um that I printed myself first you have it is kind of bent on one side so I do apologize for that curve um but it may easily be able to be flattened out when it's like you know stored a certain way or um you know, put between a book <laughs> um but it's this like uh like maybe like seafoam green and like ocean blue kind of color i'm gonna again oops sorry i hit the camera but put it against this white to see if that helps you guys like see it a little bit better so this piece of vellum and then you also get this one, which is a gold um, scale one. Um, once again, it is not foiled. This one is just printed. So it's like a printed gold. Um, but once again, another eight and a half by 11 full sheet of vellum of 
uh, scales. Okay, you will also get three sheets of this like scaly, um, uh, I don't even know what to call it. It's like the sequiny paper that you buy at a scrapbook store. Um, so you have this one. Um, I don't even know, what do you call this? I bought it at Hobby Lobby. It just says crafts on it. Hand wash only, hang to dry. Um, but it's kind of like fabric. So this one is a little bit thicker. It's this kind of like minty, maybe seafoam green um, color. Um, so it's that kind of like scaly uh, sequin paper. Um, so I used it to, I'll show you how I used it. I used it a couple of different ways. I used it here um to represent this color um to represent the ocean and like waves and then i also used it to represent um the green one to represent a tail a mermaid tail here i'm trying to remember did i use and then this color i just used to kind of create a little like you know wave effect kind of on the side. So I have three colors of this scale. So you have like the sea foam green. Um, once again, I'm gonna turn this light on so you guys can kind of see how it reflects the light. So you have this kind of sea foam green, almost a full sheet. This size, does it say the size? This is, yeah, 8.3 inches by 11.7 inches or 21 centimeters by about, about 30 centimeters. Um, so you have the sea foam green sheet. It's almost a full sheet, just missing that little piece that I cut off on the edge. Um, this is almost a full sheet as well. This is that bright blue that I used for the wave. Um, also that thicker, like kind of fabric. It's almost like a canvas with glitter on it. And then this is the green I cut the tail out of. This one is like a little bit thinner, actually. Um, but yeah, uh, so these two, these two are thicker for some reason, and this one's a tiny bit thinner. Um, but also that sparkly, scaly, glittery, I don't even know what you kind of call this kind of paper, but there it is reflecting the light. So you get these three sheets, green, blue, and then like a, you know, aquamarine, seafoam green, whatever you want to call it. These two sheets of vellum that are scales. And then this sheet of acetate that's rainbow scale. So, uh, what is that? Like six pieces of paper that you can use. And then the additional pieces that you get, I'm just going to leave that light on so that we have some extra light. Oh, I also have this little piece right here. I'll throw that into that I cut off, um, but just some extra pieces of those colors. All right. And then you also get three washi tapes. Um, you get this washi tape, which I think I bought on Etsy, um, which is, let me see, I think I may have done a sample at the back. Let's see. No, but I do have room to do a sample back here. Okay, so let me do a little washi um, swatch for you guys right here. All right, so that is what this washi tape looks like right here. So it is a green and purple and blues um, washi tape. It was only partially used, so the majority of the roll is still intact, is still there for you. And then I have two samples that I didn't use at all. I think I actually ordered these and forgot I had them <laughs> when I was putting together my set. So you have this one. I'm not gonna do a washi swatch for you because I don't want to waste any of the precious tape that's on this sample. Um, I'm pretty sure I got this on Etsy. I will link it below. Um, but this is a sample of, it is, hopefully you guys can see that. Maybe I can get like the light to reflect it a little bit for you. There we go. Um, so it is kind of like a, a greenish blue with a gold scale on it. And then this one is a lighter blue with, let me see if I can get that light to reflect again for you guys, perfect. Okay, um, it's a lighter blue with like a gold wave pattern on it. So you get three washi tapes, two with scales and one with like a little wave. 
and then you get a bunch of paper clips and one charm. So I'll show you guys the charm first. So the first charm, I keep using this little white piece of cardboard for you. Let me see if I can get it in the light there for you. Woo, that fell off. This one is a silver um, mermaid tail charm. Um, I like to use charms as bookmarks, as um, little charms on my, like I put them on my uh, planner, like I put them at the end of the little zipper part of the uh, planner case that I use, but you can also use them as bookmarks, those types of things. But this is a little mermaid tail charm. And then you get five paper clips. All right, so the first two, this one is a Starbucks, like a coffee cup, Ariel themed coffee cup. So the coffee cup looks like Ariel. So like this is the color of her hair, her um, her uh, shell bra, and then her uh, tail, of course. And so that is a Ariel Little Mermaid themed coffee cup. <laughs> Then we have this really pretty ombre glitter tail paper clip. Um, so you got like purple, blue, into the green, and yellow. Um, I can't remember what shop this is from, but they're very well made, hand, um, very well made, sturdy um, paper clips. And then I have this one that's more of like a paper paper clip, um, but it is blue and like rose gold. Um, it's a flower like a rose, um, but it kind of goes with like the color scheme for the mermaid. And then I have this really fun, more bulky paper clip um, that has this like blue with blue with silver little like jewels or gems on the ribbon. And then it's like, a uh, glittery kind of diamondy um, gem with a blue starfish on the top. Let me see if I can get that to reflect in the light for you guys. So, so cute. It's made by the same shop. Ho, stop. Stop. It's made by the same shop that made this one that I have inside of my planner as well. I have a few like that one which are just adorable. So this one is ocean themed. And then the last paper clip is just this more simplistic one that has a mermaid tail on the clip. So super, super cute. Okay, so this is everything in our mermaid theme journal giveaway. I am so, so excited about this giveaway um, because I just want to be able to share the wealth and I want you guys to be able to use things that I'm not using and put it to good use. So I know that this is giving another journal life somewhere. Okay guys, so we're gonna do this giveaway the same way we do all of my monthly giveaways. There will be four steps. First, subscribe. Second, like the video. Third, comment below how you will use these items um, if you win them. And four, there will be a Google form below for you to fill out to give me information on how to reach you if you win. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and good luck to everybody who enters. I can't wait to see you next time. Bye. I have my head so deep in the sand. When I met you, didn't have plans But I stayed when I should have ran Hey, and this happens every time Get too close when I'm playing with fire I get burned, but I know I'll be fine